Hello, my name is Sara Inés Lara. I come from Colombia, South America. We all know that we are in the midst of an extinction crisis. Mother Earth is suffering like never before. Millions of species are suffering at the hand of one species, the human species. We also know that this problem is most severe where biodiversity is richest, in the tropics. For example, Colombia is home to almost 2,000 bird species, which is three times more than France. And yet, Colombia is losing an area of rainforest the size of Paris every 12 days. And deforestation rates are accelerating in recent years. I come from a small village called Cajibio, Cauca, in the high Andes of Colombia. And I'm proud to have indigenous heritage. That this region is the treasure box of biodiversity and natural resources. But tragically, it has also been devastated by decades of conflict, violence, and its people have suffered immense losses. I was educated as a civil engineer in a period of time where conservation was very little talked about in my country. After seeing so much destruction, I saw the light and I realized that I have to help save nature. I put down my construction hat and I put on a pair of binoculars. I soon found out that it was a spectacular species that is found nowhere else but in the high Andes of Colombia, called the yellow ear parrot. 100 years ago, the yellow ear parrot was reported as abundant across Colombian Andes. But in 1999, just one flock of 81 birds survived. It was listed as critical endangered on the IUCN red list and on the verge of extinction. I made it my mission to help to save the species from extinction. First, we needed to understand the challenges of the species so we can most effectively act to counter those issues. So I put together a research team and established an NGO called Fundación Pro Aves to help manage the project my team quickly found two major issues that were confronting the parrot. The first issue was the disappearance of the Quindío wax palm, the parrot's nesting and where they feed. Without protection, these majestic trees were being cleared for cattle pastures. Not only that, but thousands were cut down each Easter. The palm Fronts are sought after to be carried in Palm Sundays, a religion tradition in Colombia. And the second issue was the parrot unusual behavior. Most type of, of birds are wary of humans, and for good reason. But the yellow ear parrot uh, was unusual because it trusts humans. Unfortunately, this made them easy to hunt for sport. To save the species from imminent extinction, we had to address all these threats. But where do we begin? With so many challenges, I was so thankful that the community, especially local women, rallied out to help my team, learning how special and just how desperate the situation was. It triggered a maternal response to help protect it. Hunting parrots and logging wax palms was banned. And soon the parrot and the palm were adopted as a local and regional emblem and symbol of pride. I also helped to create a network of 28 nature reserves to protect and restore habitat for the parrot and countless other species. Combined, these reserves cover an area almost three times, three times the size of Paris. Lastly, we partnered with the Catholic Church 
in Colombia and environmental authorities to stop the cutting the palm and within a few years, the centuries-old tradition of procession with wax palm fronts became processions of wax palm seedlings that were proudly carried in pots and planted each Palm Sunday. So how did the parrot respond? Well, we were shocked. With the threats removed and the last Las colony started to breed with vengeance, raising two broods of two chicks each year. Soon the population was almost doubling in size every year. Those 81 individuals became, in 1999, over 3,000 individuals spreading across the Andes. It was a great success. In an era when we are struggling to reverse the fate and so many endangered species are in danger, the recovery the yellow ear parrot offered us hope. But it didn't do this alone. At every step, women inspire me, and together we galvanized real change. There were just not mothers, but entrepreneurs, teachers, and future leaders. They stood up with us in creating a better world. With this experience, I saw the huge potential and a great need to train and empower women to inspire nature conservation and improve their livelihoods. This led me to establish an initiative, Women for Conservation, in 2004. My projects help establish women-led community networks around these nature reserves, supporting them with training workshops from entrepreneurship to being a reserve rangers, as well access to knowledge on environmental matters and providing access to especially family planning. One example is Nympha Karyanil, who has shown tremendous personal commitment and sacrifice to protect a threatened rainforest in the heart of the Colombian Amazon. Nympha lost her son in January 2019 when he drowned in the river outside the reserve station. She then lost her husband, Rufino, who worked with her as a reserve ranger in May 2020 due to COVID. Rufino worked with Nympha together as a reserve ranger, and Nympha asked that she would be allowed to bury Rufino beside her son in the reserve. She continues to protect the rainforest with tremendous commitment and professionalism. She's doing this alone in the face of constant threats from hunters, loggers, and settlers who seek to destroy this area. Nympha is just one example of women's determination and strength and commitment for protecting nature. She shows us that women are a tremendous force for conservation. By acting together, we can overcome adversity it transforms difficulties into opportunities. There are big challenges, and nature needs us more than ever. But as you can see, from the yellow ear parrot, we can save a species from the edge of extinction. And despite tremendous adversity, the passion and determination of women, just like Nympha, can make all the difference for our communities and for our planet. And working together, nothing can stop us. Thank you.